Eddie Bravo joins Brewer and Shaka to talk about Operation Paperclip. What is 1984 Doublethink? And pay attention to local politics, they're more important than you think. The deep state can't keep us quiet as we do what we can to give Eddie a voice on this episode of Brewer's Bunker. Jesus, I look terrible. I might move my spot. <laughs> What's happening? Know. How are you doing? I don't Did know. You like it? that light? I don't know if I like the light. Yeah, it didn't look terrible. Oh, see, now that looks pretty good. That's all natural. That's all natural. Yep. But if my kid's going to interrupt me, I can tell that's going to go down. I'm going to get rid of this punk-ass kid. Hold on. I got an idea. Hold on. How you been, Mike? Good, dude. Very good. Dude, we got to build a studio. It's like time. Yeah. You, you said you can hook me up with a traveling studio. What is mm -hmm. that all about? We'll just get you uh, some equipment that's uh, basic for you and uh, plug and play pretty much. That would be incredible. I think we got to do it. You know, once in a while, I'll hear one or two people like, hey, uh, it's time for you to go to studio. You know, wh whatever hot shot, why don't you build it? That's what I feel like saying to some of those people. <laughs> you really should get a studio. Well, you know, I don't know where I am half the time, hot shot. I still got, I got three kids yep. that never go away. They're always wanting more. They need cars. They need they need college. They need all this nonsense that drives me nuts. And I keep trying to kick them out of the nest. I keep, every time they keep flapping in, I got a broom just trying to whack at them. To just go find another branch. Good God. Um, How long until they're out? Well, the last one is 17. So she's, mm. she's, uh, she graduates next year. Okay. And I'm just like, listen, I love her to death. I love my kids to death, but I can't wait. I just have these, I have these visions of just being gone from society, like months, like two months clips, three month clips. I grab my wife, she, she don't even know what's going on. She still got the same clothes. You know, what are we doing? Don't even worry about it. Get in the car, we're out of here. <laughs> we're out of here. Um, First, let's bring on, um, we, all right, today, we're going full-blown bunker today, right? Full-blown bunker, but we have, some, uh, we have some things to take care of before we dive into that. Let's do it. Let's all right, do that so first. real quick, went yeah. through the comments. Yep. Uh, there was a few of them. A lot of people were getting kind of close. A lot of people were overshooting, undershooting. But now, we you're did. talking about guessing when I was in Belize, how much that thing cost. Yes. Okay. Yes. And okay. we have a winner. Um, this person goes by the name Nil Pox CV CV. I'll put the name down there. Uh, okay. And they guessed 5,700 for the week. That's pretty damn I think it was six altogether. Um, yep. It was 6,000 for the week. It's, um, if you want to look into it, you go to Belize, Airbnb, monstrosity of a house on the beach you have your own pool you have people living there on grounds in a separate house and lily anything that was weird they were on it there's a watchdog that prowls the whole area it was the place is phenomenal i could walk within two restaurants two bars two restaurants it was absolutely phenomenal so and there's four bedroom suites and three of them are downstairs, almost like separate quarters. I'll call them quarters. So if you're thinking about doing a, uh, like four couples, you want to go to Belize, I'm telling you where we stayed was phenomenal. Boy, I should, I should, what am I doing? I should, uh, Airbnb should sponsor me. Like, why am I being so, listen, I just like being nice and truthful. And I know people like, but you know, part of me is like, Hey man, give me some advertisement right now. How about a little tank, 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 or better yet, how about you set me up next time? Anyway, cool. Congratulations to, um, Nil Pox to CV, AC, CV. No, so CBD, small pox in that whole thing. <laughs> we'll contact them. We'll reach them somehow. And uh, hopefully they see this and, uh, they reach yeah. out so we can get them their prize. Calf is doing better. If you need tickets, I'm going, um, I'm, I'm hitting, 
I'm telling you, one of my favorite parts, uh, Penn's Peak on Thursday night, uh, next Thursday. And then I'm doing uh, Cataray, New Jersey. Carter, Carteret. Carteret, New Jersey. Yep. And then I'm heading to Rhode Island. And then the week after, weekend after that, and I believe if you're a Patreon member, I'm going to do Penn's Peak live stream. We're going to do the live stream. And just a reminder, if you're on the Patreon page, you know, it's 15 bucks. Just join for one month and bail. You get the comedy special. You get the live stream show. You get all uh, this comes out before anyone else sees it. And we're going to do that full blown live read through May 15th on the script. So we're moving. We're grooving. And when are we launching the, the comedy thing? Uh, I believe uh, July, sometime in July, July, maybe beginning of July. Yeah. Okay, great, 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 great. Yep. So that's coming out too. Yep. All right. So we're going bunker today, which I got to say is a good, it's a good bunker because I want to prepare you all for something. And if you can't tell the cycles yet, I'm going to train you. Um, you're going to have midterm elections. Hence, uh, abortion rights, uh, all, all these major distractions of division are going to start pouncing you non-stop so if you're able to emotionally detach and see the carnival that's about to go down oh my god someone something happened to this hollywood person oh abortion rights have been ah, pro-life bro choice pro-life bro choice it's it's uh, beep, beep, beep. every time you see that on television just put this in the back of your head. And you find yourself emotionally getting attached. Well, guess what? They got you. You're in the circus. You're eating the peanuts. You're hooked. You're in the seats. And you don't even know you're there. Trust me, it's coming. And it's going to be quite a circus the next couple months. So I'm warning you now, now that you prepare, you can prepare yourself. You're going to see, I guarantee you, you're going to see whatever type of riots coming our way. They're going to go for race division. Mark my word. Something's going to happen soon. You're going to see some type of anti-black thing. Someone beat a black person. Some, something's going to happen. Abortion, pro this, gay rights, whatever it is. The circus is all lined up. If you if you go backstage right now, you can hear. <laughs> they got the, they got the elephants ready to come out. They got the 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 midgets. I said midget because when I grew up, we said midget. So if you're offended, I'm sorry. I'll bend down. I'll talk to you. Now, little people. However, I said it. What do you want me to do? You cancel me because I said. Um, they're all waiting back. The guy in the stilts, the bearded lady, although that's not even freaky anymore. You, every, you, you, the lion tamer, they're all backstage waiting to come out for the carnival, which is about to sweep your mind, your emotions. And trust me, trust me when I say you, you're going to, you're going to try not to get caught up. You're going to get caught up. Mark my words. So just a pre-warning. Uh, let's bring in Jimmy Shaka. Jimbo! Jimbo, am I right doing? on target with this? Am I 100%. Right? 100%. What do you think is coming? What do you think is coming? Clearly the abortion thing is coming. Well, yeah, the abortion, the abortion thing. By the way, did you notice that or did you see this that the it's it's Roe versus Wade, right? Which was the big, the big sure. uh, abortion thing. All right. But the, sure. the woman Roe. All right. She was a, you know, she was this woman that, um, that, uh, I don't know, this whole court case was about. She just on her deathbed, and I don't know if that's bullshit either, but on her deathbed, she goes, you know, I just, they told me what to say and I said it. And uh, they would just, uh, you put the camera in front of me and I would just tell, say what the, what they told me to say. She said this on her deathbed, the one about the whole Roe versus Wade case. You can look that up on like Telegram. I'm interesting. Sure, I'm sure. Very interesting. I got in a conversation with some people, and 
they're starting to recognize now, now more and more people are starting to recognize the symbolism. And for those who don't know, uh, black eyes, right? This, this is everywhere. This is all the stars. They all you take know pictures I, like this. Yeah. Um, you know, can this I, stuff. Yeah. What? I just heard this morning that that means, um, I'm willing to turn a blind eye. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Okay. And yes, it's willing to turn a blind eye, but to what? And I find I it's the first time in my life where <clears throat> I told you this the other day, or I think uh, I told you where I said, you know, my whole life, I'm, I'm, I don't, I don't read the bible i didn't that i don't want to i just don't i, I uh, um i i listen to quotes and this and all that jazz and you know they always you know you see church guys and always like these are the biblical the end of times are coming and blah 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 this is the first time in my life where i think it is and what i mean by that is this truly is the exposure of the almighty evil and good about to clash. And mm -hmm. they're going to try to make it Republican, Democrat, this and that. But they're really, really, when I say they, anyone that says this is a threat to our democracy, Again, I'm going to train you. Get rid of the word democracy and say our power. Mm. And then it will start Very making good. more sense to you. So whenever they say, this is a threat to our democracy, what they are saying is this is a threat to our power that has been in control to control you your whole life, whether you believe it or not. You want to think it's far-fetched? Knock yourself out. I'm telling you. I'm trying to help you. I have nothing to gain from this. Zero. Except for seeing people go, wow. Um, right. Even with, you, you couldn't get even more obvious with the, with the I'll, I'll train you guys. Okay, I'm going to train you. I had someone, a million people ask me, oh, ah, yeah, did you watch the Oscars? And what'd you think? I said, it was a setup. How can you say that? First of all, I don't believe Will Smith um, – again, this is all bunker. This is fake talk. I'm a character right now. This is, this is the bunker brew conspiracy bunker. It may be right. It may be wrong. I ain't saying I'm right. I ain't saying I'm wrong. Right. I'm just saying. Right. I don't think he's interested in girls much. Whoa! How could you even? What? How do? Okay, now you're crazy. <laughs> That's number one. Number two. You clearly see him when he wins. First of all, he does the slap. I believe that's a ritual. It's an um, it's a it's a uh, a public embarrassment ritual. Second of all, when he accept now now he's not even whisked away or nothing. Right. Then when he accepts the award, he takes his hand and he puts it in his shirt. That is a that is a gang sign. You, you whatever you want to do it, it's a gang sign, not like right. Bloods Crips. Fauci did the same thing. Fauci would stand there next to Trump and he put his hand in his jacket and then he'd take it out. That is no different than this, 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 yep. this, all of it. Whether you want to believe it or not, we're just having fun here. <clears throat> so watch it again. And while he's doing that, he puts his hand in there. Okay, and he's got the triangles behind him. The triangles that's all symbols. Um, if you don't think you're in a, a, a secret war, I'm gonna bring 
three things up to you that how genius the eye candy has been. And you don't think you're under a spell, but I'm going to explain to you how you are and how quick it just keeps going by and you don't have the capability to stop something and stare at it because it's always there. Hey, don't say gay bill. Hey, did you see the slap? So and so got tackled. Hey, pro rights, abortion rights. Number one, do you remember in Beirut when that basically a nuclear bomb went off? And, yeah. every, and they said, um, that was fireworks. There's this firework company, and um, yeah, they just, they had these, you know, which uh, that was a cloud that was bombs that hit up to miles away. Yep. What was close to that bomb? Was there a banking system that was closed? Was there tunnels underneath that building? Are we in a secret war that, that we're being hidden from? Or the illusion of television and radio and media? Um, if you start, the, no one even... The, you can't just leave a bomb like that and go, so anyway, the COVID numbers are going up and I thought we need to keep our mask on and get another shot. That's number one. What was that bomb about? Uh, number, yeah. number two, the AT&T building in Nashville, Tennessee. Oh, oh yeah. Boom. And people say, yeah, it was it was a, a crazy guy that with, and he drove a and he drove a truck and uh, he uh, he was you know he was he was like a terrorist. Oh really? And and what was he bombing that for? Like why would he bomb the big communication building of downtown? And and if he was a terrorist. Why would he warn everyone to go? If you can hear this message, you have exactly 10, 9, 8. Do you remember that? Yes. You see how fast that goes away? No one right. even talks about that. There are <clears throat> so many. Do you remember the whole? I got another one. Go ahead. Remember that uh, in California, they had uh, those fires. That's right. Where like houses were vaporized and there was like woods all around not even touched the next house was fine but then this other selective house was like vaporized cars were vaporized with woods all around them what was that all about you know sp space space war right nobody knows and no one questions it i remember watching uh a press conference where Trump brought up that they I, saved this woman from sex trafficking in like Peru and we're continue to fight this and not I do yes one person questioned it. It now, was Jimbo, the most yeah, go ahead. You gotta think you gotta remember though that it's kind of like the bad guys are the news guys. So Correct. anytime and any Hollywood. of these stories, right. If, if any of these stories were um, what they didn't want, um, uh, uh, you know, it, 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 they're, they're, they're not going to, they're like, well, let's not mention that Trump mentions it, but no, nah, let's just, let's ignore that. You know what I mean? Let's ignore that. Even though it's getting out to the people every day, it's getting more and more ridiculous to ridiculous. where like regular people are like, come on. Right. That's what I'm saying. You can't, you can you, every day I go, come on, are you really? But we, oh. we've always been like that. But, but when, yes. when the regular yes. guy that, that, doesn't care about politics or right. anything. Right. You know, 
Maybe that's why. Maybe it has that's nothing why they, to do with politics. That's the, yeah. that's why I keep trying to explain people. Stop yeah. defining yourself. Pretend you're not Republican, left. Democrat, left, right. Pretend you're not. Just take the subject and put it in front of you, and you're going to go, ah, as a human being, not attached right. to a party. That's right. evil shit. I don't know what yeah. else to tell you. Of course, this is all character driven. Once again, this is uh, the bunker. I am right. just being goofy. I am a character. Nothing I'm saying is real or uh, to be believed. This is all fun and game. Characters, so, like right. what you watch every day of your life. All right, continue. So uh, uh, um, uh, Mike's going to try to call Eddie, and we, we might have an audio feed of Eddie. I like which that. Work, which is cool. That um, I can take. Yeah, I would love that. Yeah. But you know, you know, with all the distractions, you were talking about how like they're distracting you with this, distracting you with that. But I, I, I heard someone saying, "All right, yeah, maybe this row word, row Wade bullshit, right, is a distraction. This other thing is the distraction." But we people are getting very good at multitasking. Yeah. Yep. Listen, I got a little time to listen to that. I got a little time to listen to that. I got a little time to listen to that. But you know what? I'm not going to stop paying attention to this and this and this. So even if they throw the distractions at you, it's just like a sign on the side of the road. Yeah, there's that. Yeah, they're advertising for that. They're doing it. But you keep you know where your destination is. It's all you know? advertising. What's up, Mike? Hey, um, I have Eddie on the line. Uh, I got to keep my video up, but at least you'll have him here. I'll Sweet. take any of Eddie. So I'll go take ahead, any Eddie. of Eddie Bravo. What's up, I'm Eddie? I'm here. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? All Perfect. loud and clear. Hell yeah. <clears throat> Deep State. Deep State can't fuck with old school phones. That's right. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> To think the deep state ain't balls deep in Zoom and all these streaming services, you know, to think that yeah. they're not, oh my God, they, somebody would get fired in the Illuminati if they didn't have Zoom covered. Like, you don't have Zoom covered. Like, what? You let you let them Zoom? You, you know what I mean? Well, Someone I agree. Die. Doesn't Zoom, Zoom is owned by China, by the way. So... All the shit we're saying, they're they're uh, storing, you know. Zoom. I like anyway. China. I like China. I don't know. I'm starting you guys, to. I'm like starting China. to think. What do you think, Ed? <laughs> I'm starting. <laughs> Eddie, I, 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 I what do you think? Why, why do you like China, Eddie? I'll tell you why I do. They got they got Bruce Lee. They got. Uh, um, <laughs> Uh, the Shaolin Temple. They got uh, 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 that's it. I think. All right. They got well. They got well. They got some good lo mein. Yeah. They got good food, man. <laughs> right. They got good Should food. Chicken, chicken fried rice with pineapple. That's bomb. You know what there I mean? I'm down with that. I can't hate them for that. Right. You know the stories that uh, that um, Trump. Is working with, like, well, Putin. I definitely, he's definitely working with Putin. But uh, supposedly, maybe uh, what's his name in China too? That they're all like. Well, here's influence. all right. I'm going to tell everyone. All right, I'm going to tell everyone that the, the again, it could have been a show. And again, and I don't know. Trump throws me off. I'm not going to lie to you. He throws me off with his recent interviews with the push in the backs. I I don't know what's going on there. Whatever. Now, this is, I'm still go back to when he first got in, he went to Saudi Arabia, Israel, uh, North Russia, Korea. North Korea, China, and rumblings were on the underground, like people in military, like, bro. They just formed an alliance and they're going to take down all the deep states because all the deep states are in all those countries have been controlling everywhere. That's what corporations are. That's what big pharma, so drug and corporate, they are the slave owners that have been infested 
everywhere in America. We're the main, we're the main one. We're the main deep state. That's what the, we are the deep state that have infiltrated all these countries. And supposedly, I mean, if you really, it's bizarre how they went after him so hard when before he even started. It was just right. weird. That's what got my attention. I'm like, why are they after this guy? That's what right. made me like him. Well, I, did, I just was studied. I just like, what the hell is going on here? And then I would see, he'd say something, but then the networks would edit it and put something else and everyone believed it. I'm like, whoa, whoa, that's not what he said. How are you buying that? So it makes me wonder, is that what's going on now? Like, I don't know, but I'm starting to... Like, what is it? What are we in the middle of right now? You can't believe that Biden's really the president, the way he talks. You, you just, you got to be out of your mind. If you think the president can go, ah, 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 ah. you don't think other countries are going, ah, 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 ah. listen, listen to what he said. Oh, this is so funny. He don't even know where he's at. You don't think that exists. You got to be out of your mind. Yeah. Out of your mind. You, you, you can't be a sane human being watching what the world is watching. And if you are, then you are emotionally attached to hating something or loving something that you don't even know you're, you, you're so wrapped up in something you don't even know exist. You can't, you know what I mean? Yeah. I, I think I, getting back to that, that's part of, that's part of all of this. Make it so that nobody knows what to think. That's what the boy girl are you? You know, should we make oh my kids? God. You know that make make everybody not know which way is up. Who's the good guy? Who's the bad guy? Confuse everybody, and then you can you can kind of recreate them from the ground up the way you want them to be. I think that's what they're trying to do. You know, religion. I think, yeah, I think they, that like that. 1984 double think uh, um, um, theory. I think that's what's really going on. That explains everything. Is is that they try to do so much double think, like up is down, down is up, left is right, right, right is left. That they do so much of that that it it paralyzes your logic and you it, it makes you not rely on logic and and common sense that's what i think that the trans uh, gender uh, of course uh, movement is about it's like of course i mean listen if you want to if you want to dress like a girl you want to put makeup on and grow your hair out dude i grew up in the fucking hair metal days i grew my hair out i had big hoop earrings on i wore eyeliner i get it i did it to get chicks you guys are right. doing it to get dudes. It's whatever. <laughs> you want to do that? You want to do that? You want to do that? That's totally fine. You want to put on makeup? You're 58. You want to look like a chick? I get it. But you you can't be immune from being made fun of. You cannot. No. You cannot. Everybody, everybody can be made fun of. You can make fun of Canadians. No one gives a shit. You can make fun of Italians. No one gives a shit. You make fun of old men who want to dress like chicks, and now all of a sudden you're going to get canceled. It doesn't make any goddamn sense. But the one thing that does make sense is that the double think, double think, men or women, women or men, that men can get pregnant, men can have periods. It's all this shit that doesn't make any sense. They keep slamming it down everyone's throats to the point where they can't even use their logic or common sense anymore. I think that's a strategy. I think they do that on purpose. And that Absolutely. 1984 shit is that that's there's a lot of real shit in there. It only makes oh, sense. A hundred percent. And this started when I say started, I feel like the push started um around the Obama era. And I'm not blaming him. I'm just saying that's when I started hearing Gender, 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 gender. I'm like, what the fuck? What are you talking mm. about? What the right. hell are you talking about? Um, and the whole, it, it, it's without a doubt, I don't care what anyone says, this is a full blown agenda to the point where I can honestly say I've looked at supermodels, certain ones, and I've looked at 
some stars out there today. And I can honestly say that's a dude that's a gender. And nobody knows that's a man. I think Lady right. Gaga's a guy. They, I ain't buying for one bit she's a chick. No way. I ain't and buying you know the crazy thing about that, Jim? The crazy thing about that, because, you know, I mean, the big elephant that's in the goddamn room is that uh, Michelle Obama, you know, the is, rumor is a man. That it, conspiracy is a right. man. That, that's huge. Every, everybody yeah. knows that. It's Everyone now it knows it. Or whatever. But why is it so bad? If you're pushing the transgenders are good and we should all accept them, why is it so bad to accuse Michelle Obama of being a transgender? You guys should be jumping up and down. Why is it if you accuse Michelle Obama of being a transgender, you could get canceled. But at the same time, they're trying to promote transgender. Like, what is going on over here? Like, don't you guys like that shit? Well, that's a great maybe point. that's it. Maybe that's it though, that they they want to normalize transgender all this stuff they want to normalize at first then they'll say yeah by the way i'm one of them you know what i mean like so make it okay yeah, for I'm her saying. to come I'm out i'm saying is people people are accusing <clears throat> michelle obama of, of possibly being uh transgender but that shouldn't be a bad thing that should be a good right. thing right according right. to them you shouldn't you shouldn't die after a minor operation just because you you mentioned that uh she's uh she's a he Joan Rivers. If you know what I'm yeah, they should Joan be Rivers. jumping up. But they, they should, the left should be saying that Obama's a transgender. They should be saying right. it, not the right, because the left is just promoting it. Why, why are they like, oh my God, you're, you're going to go to hell for saying that. Oh, we're going to cancel you for saying that. Like, wait a minute, you guys are all about it. You guys should embrace it. Right. And I think the reason why, A, they're trying to push in all that, because there's two. Too much information, and we're starting to discover. Hence, Disney. And again, I'm sure I did on that. I did, when I was talking with Eddie Bravo and is that podcast, I tell everyone, look at the scene in Pinocchio. We're talking 1940s, where they clearly say in the pub scene, we steal little boys. Mm. Bring them yeah. to Pleasure Island, and they don't return as boys. That, my friends, is not transgenderism. Transgenderism is a nice word for evil, demonic, distorted, disgusting, soulless animal. I don't know what else to tell you. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy because it's just so crazy that um, if you're allowed your opinion, uh, that was, that I'm allowed my opinion. There was there, there was a there was a transgender on some news show, and they were like doing a debate, and someone said, "Why don't we just have?" And they were talking about uh, whether or not transgender uh, uh, biological males can play uh, female sports. Right. And this transgender was saying. You know, you know, she was like, you know, giving her all her points. And then the the dev, devil's advocate on the show was like, why don't you just start like your own transgender league? And then the transgender says, there's not that many of us. There's really only like, you know, 800 transgender athletes in the world or, or something like that. Some number. And this transgender was saying, we can't start only because there's not enough of us. Isn't that crazy that there's so few of them? Yet they they are so protected. Good point. They're so they're so protected, and there's like a thousand of them that are playing sports, and you can't say shit about <laughs> them. You can't say nothing. These these, these dudes that, that that are put on makeup and they want to be girls, man, you can't say nothing about. Them. They're way more. You could say Mexicans aren't even protected like that. There's literally millions <laughs> of Mexicans in the United States. And you can say anything you want about Mexicans. You can make Home Depot jokes. You can make fucking beans and rice jokes. And, and oh, they they got 14 jobs. That's fine. But damn, you say anything about some old dude that wants to wear makeup and you right. can get canceled. Crazy. Well, Well, this is, listen, as an adult, 
I'm going to say like 23, 24, 24. Knock yourself out. Knock yourself out. But here's where the demonic, evil, pure, disgusting, disturbing, evil, no matter how you twist it, when you're encouraging and allowing your child 16, 15, 14, 13, undeveloped, would you take a 14-year-old and trust them with most things in your life? Would right. you take a 16 year old and trust them with really important decisions in your life? No, you wouldn't. Because if you would, you're a blatant, vicious liar. And if you're encouraging your child and supporting your child to mutilate their body, then either you're one of the demons or you should not have children. Well, they drank the Kool Aid. Line, you've been traumatized, and yeah. you've, you've. I know for a fact, and I've said this before. A therapist, a therapist, in another state, when I was talking to them, said, "You know, my ch their child was thirteen, and she allowed the transgender to go on." stuck hormones in a 13 year old in New Jersey to have that thing. And like, you know, you always like you, you as an adult, there's, I'm sorry. I feel there's personally a mental issue. Now as a therapist, are you grooming teenagers? Because this is a teenage therapist, by the way, are you grooming them? Mm. Because that's another whole thing. And you can't tell me. And I'm and I feel people need to speak up. Stop being afraid. Stop being pansies. Stop being so listen. I was a fat kid. I wasn't husky. I was fat. You know when you know you're fat? Soon, like Eddie said, soon as you get to school, every uh, my mom said I'm husky. No, you're fat, bro. You're a fat ass fatso, Jim Fatso. You got to, that is the law of humanity. You can't sit there and cuddle everyone. They, I'm sorry. I'm not going to back. It's, it's, it's raw. It's demonic. It's evil. You've lost touch with humanity, with your soul, with what is good and bad, evil, not evil. That is all part of, call it whatever, crush God, crush. The more you crush what your blatantness of God is and you destroy it, the more you're like, yeah, we can do whatever we want. Yeah, you want to, you want to start banging kids at seven years old? I think that they don't know if they, dude. This ain't no joke. This is going down, and you all have to start stepping up and push back because it's go time. It's go time. Now, once again, this is an infomercial. This is just a character. I wish no harm on anyone. I love everyone. This is fully in character, which is called the bunker. We're in a fake bunker where we talk nonsense. I'm not saying right. we're right, not saying we're wrong. We're just saying having a goof. I love all, even everyone I just talked about. Can I shift gears and, and back up a little bit? You guys Go ahead, are talking Eddie. about how you, you weren't ahead. trusting. You, you don't you don't know if you can trust Trump. You're not sure. Yes. Yeah. Um, this, have you guys heard the conspiracy theory? Because a lot of people lost faith in Trump when he started pushing the vaccines and it became like yeah. all of a sudden he's pro vaccine. When back in old tweets, like old tweets, like from 2011, 2012, he was tweeting a lot of anti vax shit. You know what I mean? Yes. Yes. So yes. It, yes. It, it led a lot of people down that all of a sudden he's pro vax. But do you know the conspiracy theory behind that? I, I, I sort no. of do. Refresh my memory. It's something about, go ahead. Well, the conspiracy theory is okay. So either either Trump is a white hat or he's a he's a fucking deep state good cop, bad cop, and we're all fucked, right? Right. Uh, so we don't know. We don't know. We know the left are all demons. One trillion percent, right? Hundred percent. One trillion percent. Like 100%. Pelosi, Nadler, Schumer, Biden, Kamala, fucking uh, Diane Feinstein. They're all dark demons we know that a million percent there's no way we're, we're 
Oh, There's no way hiding thinking it. that when actually they're good people. Like, Pure oh, disgusting. they're actually good. Yeah, that for sure. That's a million percent. Now, the Trump side and, you know, the Biden, or, I mean, the Trump side and, and, the, and the white hats and the, and the counter to the new world order, that isn't 100 percent either. But at least it's not a million percent bullshit. It's like, damn, 50 percent. Trump really right. is trying to save America. And then 50 percent. He's part of the deep state and he's just playing good cop, bad cop. We don't know. It's like 50 50. Right. right. Are you with me? I'm with yeah. you 100%. But we know, we know the left is a million percent, trillion percent demons. The Trump side and the Save America and the Make Make America Great, the MAGA movement, we don't know if that's a trick. We're not sure. But I, the conspiracy theory behind Trump and him being pro-vaccine is if he's legit, if there is a counter to the new world order, if there's a counter, if there's good people in, in the government and they're, they, they've been planning this and there's this plan to counter the new world order, to counter the great, great reset, they're saying that the, the, the new world order plan was to keep this lockdown going for 10 years right. and come out with a vaccine in like 2033. That's yes. That's what, Right. So, so, yes, uh, to keep us locked down for years and years, and then finally they keep, oh, we're working on the vaccine. We're working on the vaccine. We need more money. We need more money. We're working on the vaccine. So, the counter to that was okay, we can sit here and argue that vaccines are actually bad for you and do that argument and debate and just fucking just do that and, and everyone get distracted with that. Or, or we could fuck their plans up. Or Trump right. goes to Big Farm. Trump goes to Big Farm and says, because Big Farm will want to do vaccines for their own reasons. They want to make course, money, money and keep people safe. Money, money, money. And then the government, government needs vaccines <clears throat> for a whole a whole nother reason for the passports, for the tracking and all that shit. So they 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 both want the vaccines, the big pharma and, and big government, but for different reasons. So the conspiracy theories that Trump said, fuck. Let's fuck up their plans instead of fucking dragging this out for 10 years and having a vaccine ready to go in 2033. How about we fucking Operation Warp Speed these fucking vaccines and do it now and fuck their plans up? And it's so right. the, the, the conspiracy theory is Trump goes to big pharma and says, hey, listen, you want to wait 10 years or you want these trillions of dollars now? You know, and the people's like, but but he's pushing vaccines and it's killing people. There's going to be casualties of war. You know, war, what do we do? Yes. Drag this out for fucking yes. drag this out for 10 years or right. and have like a fucking anti vaccine, pro vaccine argument or say, fuck it. How about I go pro vaccine? We get this out in nine months and and fuck, fuck their whole plans up and kill their great reset. And look what's happening now. They fucking yeah. all the all the, the thing they wanted the most. The thing they wanted the most was the vaccine passport. They wanted the, that scared the shit out of me. Once they start implementing, me that, too, man. I seriously me thought. Too. I seriously thought once they implement the vaccine passports, there's no way they're gonna yep. pull that back. There's no fucking way they're gonna pull that back. And what happened? They pulled all the back. They dropped everything. They dropped That's everything. LA, they dropped everything. So that what does now, that tell you? That that might tell you that damn, maybe that conspiracy theory that Operation Warp Speed was designed to crush their plans and have the vaccine out way too early. Maybe that shit's real. Because when Trump was talking about, oh, we're gonna have a vaccine by October, would it would it would it Fauci, would it Kamala Harris, would it Biden say? Because that motherfucker's crazy. And if he does, if that motherfucker does come out with a vaccine, who's gonna take that shit? In nine months, we need trials. They were all against it. But finally, when it got released, they had a meeting, dog. They had a meeting and they said, you know what? We have no choice. We got to push this shit now, dog. We have no choice. What are we going to do? We, have, we either push it or kill it. We can't kill it. It's already out. We have to push it. So all of a sudden, they changed their tune. Like, oh, everybody take the vaccine. Everybody take the vaccine. And look where we're at right now. The and vaccine's getting crushed. It's getting crushed. crushed. And Eddie crushed. brought something up. Now you're making me remember. He doesn't say, which is very interesting. He doesn't, he says, it's your choice. I did it, right. but it's your yeah, choice. Yeah, he always says it's a choice. He, he it's your he choice. It it's like, it's like now, at that point, like when they made that decision, it's almost like, hey, listen, 
you're either right now there's anti-vaxxers and there's pro-vaxxers. No matter what Trump says, them anti-vaxxers are going to stay anti-vaxxers. There's no way Trump, whatever Trump says, is going to change their mind. And maybe they know that. So, oh, without a doubt, without a doubt. So, so it was like you know what Trump's like. I gotta go. Trump is like I gotta go pro-vaxxing with this. We're, a lot of people are gonna die. Fuck it. Fuck it. You know, people are gonna die, but but it's better than dragging this shit out for ten years and then just co- totally destroying everything. And it's like you know, people are gonna die. Like like people are like how how is Trump promoting the vaccine? The conspiracy right, theory it. says he's promoting it. Because he knows the people that are already anti are going to stay anti, and the people that are pro, they're either going to stay pro or they're going to wake up. So yeah, they true. could never, they could never attack Trump for being anti-vax, and right. that they would have clogged up the news cycles with all that shit. Oh so he my God, eliminated they that enough. shit. Yeah, they would have been uh, 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 anti-vax. Go ahead, Jimmy. So- so, so uh, uh, there was Trump just also did a speech where he goes, you know. Uh, my base doesn't like when we talk about the vax. He goes, but I, he, and and you always have to listen to Trump's words because he always. Very wink, specific. Wink. Yeah. Very and he goes. Very specific. I, he goes, I think the other side poisoned them. But he yes. was talking about like poisoning ideas. But wink, wink. I think the other side poisoned them. But we, you know, we did a great thing and we got it out. That was one thing. Another thing was, this is just before all this stuff. This is like 2020. I don't know if you guys remember, he was, um, he just did this big meeting with big pharma. Right. Yeah. And he, and he gave one of his, one of his like press conferences and he goes, um, he said, listen, um, you know, I'm making, I'm making some really powerful, really powerful enemies. You might not see me for a while. Do you remember yes, that? Yes, yes, and he said, "I they remember have a that." A lot of money, a lot of money, a lot of power. He said that while he was standing. He was. He said that while he was standing in front of like this wall of boxes. They yes. Were like, uh, like, like, like some in Detroit. Kind of, yeah, it was like boxes for like uh, like laundry machines or something, or it was something like boxes of yeah. something. I don't know if they were like ventilators or it was like some kind of like, is this a message? Like there's la- money laundering going. I, I don't know. I forget what it was, but he was standing in front of a bunch of boxes. And to me, yep. that sent a message. And it has to be a good product. But the middlemen, well, the rebate that I'm doing cuts out the middlemen and it reduces costs and the money goes back to the people purchasing the drugs. So I have a lot of enemies out there. This may be the last time you'll see me for a while. A lot of very, very rich enemies, but they are not happy with what I'm doing. But I figure we have one chance to do it, and no other president's going to do what I do. No other president would do a favored nations, a rebate, a buy from other nations at much less cost. Nobody. Yeah, Eddie, I heard that too. I, I, I heard and I had to be refreshed. I did hear that, and it makes all – again, people have to think you are in a war. This is a war on humanity. It's worldwide. And I keep telling people, no matter what you thought of him, I feel like he was the spokesperson. Like someone put him in charge. They're like, we need you to do the following things. Here we go. We're at war, but here's their big monsters. Media, pure evil monster, my manipulators. Hollywood, big pharma, sex trafficking. And he and, and all that shit's getting exposed now. Look, look what's getting exposed. Everything is getting exposed. You know, no, most people didn't even think they didn't. They weren't uh, paying attention to local politics. Their mayor. That's right. City, That's right. City council. Their That's school right. council. Nobody was paying attention to that before. I wasn't. Nope. Even. I, I was wasn't. paying attention to the, the Clinton crime family. I was paying attention yes. to 9-11. I was paying attention right. to Amtrails. I was paying attention yes. to the Bush family. I was paying attention yes. to Operation Paperclip, but I was not paying attention. I didn't even know who my fucking governor was. I didn't know who Newsom was. Like three years ago, I didn't know who our government was. I thought yep. governors were bullshit. I thought mayors yep. were bullshit. Now I yep. know, holy shit, they got power. They got Dude. we gotta pay attention to our mayors and our governors. That's more power. Our governor's more important than our goddamn president. Governors, way more not only that, we're gonna guys like us are running for office now. You know, right. we're starting yes. to, 
which is right. the real the real cool thing. I just had a um, – this is interesting because I know in New Jersey, again, I go back into this guy who I think he's – I think at the end he's got a good heart. Um, but he was on a school board before I moved to Florida, and I don't want to reveal too much about him. Um, but he – I remember we were talking about before the vaccine came out. He's like, you got to get vaccinated. I said, why would I do that? And he goes, well, because, it, it, you know, it has potential to save your life and blah, blah, blah. And he goes, why? I said, I never got a flu shot. He goes, oh, why not? So I start explaining it to him. I go, because, well, I know for a fact um, that my friend, my friend Alex, his daughter, went paralyzed after the swine flu shot. And I also know my friend Lou's child got autism uh, and people, they try to do, oh, it has nothing to do with shot. You know, okay, whatever, whatever. He knew what the kid looked like until he got those 40,000 shots. So with that said, he goes, yeah, but the good outweighs the bad. So I went, yeah, until it's your kid right. that doesn't wake up in the morning, until it's your child that just got a call. This is another one. One of one of my fireman friends. I he's very touchy, but he he was free. His daughter, Bali, very healthy kid, suddenly has blood clots in her liver. Right. What is that? Right. Oh, you know, it's uh, are you kidding me? Anyway, I don't want to get too far off the subject. No, but um, it's true. Like we we go ahead, but we've been around. No, no, no. So this person was on the school board, like running the school, a lot of big decisions. And I'm sure he's a book, but I had, I have a call last week. Someone called me and they're like, Jim, I just want to let you know, you should see what happened in this town. We completely took over all the school boards and got everyone out. I'm like really, which goes back to what Eddie's saying. None of us knew they infiltrated on the lowest levels, teaching kids sexuality as kids, getting that gender. I do it as a joke, but it's real. When my daughter came back from Eckerd College, well-respected in St. Petersburg, Florida, and she comes home going, Dad, did you know that uh, transgenders existed in the Native Americans? I went, Who told you that? Oh, uh, right. my, my professor. Well, your professor's right. an asshole. <laughs> and I'm paying $40,000 for that asshole. Who teach? What, what are you studying that we have to start learning about transgender going back to freaking Indians? Who? I never in the history of my life did you hear like, whoa, well, yes, in uh, 1520 in the Black, uh, in the Black Feather tribe, they cut weenies off and they became weenies. What? And why are you paying and for this? They're believing it. They believe. Well, they, the kids believe it, but they infiltrated colleges. They infiltrate. You know what blew my mind? I have a friend that started going for that, that one to run for government in New Jersey. I had no clue. Did you know almost all schools are run by the Democrat? Are funded by the Democratic Party? Which makes yes. all the sense in the world why they're so diseased in schools. They only you, got one view because they get all the money from the political party. No political party should be affiliated with education, period. That's, that's how they launder up. money. That, but that, that's how the, 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 they launder money through the school. That's why they're infiltrated. I don't know if that's why, but that's I what I heard anyway. I can't believe that. I said, I can't believe I never knew that. How did I never? This, this explains so much right now because they only just keep getting one side because they're funded by that side. And they're like, make sure, here, make sure this is the new books and these are the new. Lou, do they know? They don't even, they probably don't even know it. Half the teachers probably don't even know it. That's crazy. That's insane. You can. You go ahead, hold, go on. I'm Eddie, Eddie, hold on, go ahead, Ed. I'm amazed at how many, um, or every time some kid comes up to me at a show 
and they're like 21, 22, 23, and they're fully red pill. I'm like, damn, how did you make it through the fucking school without being, I mean, without completely being brainwashed? And um, I'm, I, any kid, 19, 20, 21, 22, 26, any young kid who has it figured out, I mean, I shit, because I was balls when I was in my twenties. I thought I was a conspiracy theorist, but I was I was playing right into their hands. I was, yeah. uh, you know, I, I had, had to move to Hollywood to be a rock star. They got me on the right. rock star thing. Uh, <clears throat> I con- I considered myself, a, a, you know, I, you know, I've never been political. I never even I've never voted even to this day. I never voted, and but right. if I had to choose a political party. I would just, you know, I'd be like, I guess I'm Democrat because the Democrats like to fucking party. So that's what I thought I was. <laughs> I, thought, I guess I'm a Democrat. You know what I mean? Because to me, right. Republicans were all wearing suits and they yes. were all into God and, and right. family. They were and dicks. I was like, trying to bang every yes. chick I could. So I'm like, I right. guess I'm Democrat. <laughs> right, they right. It was good, push. Man. But then yeah. I discovered, I, I discovered, because I remember... In 1991, 92, I just started like, you know, you hear like political talk radio and you're like, oh, I think that's what I am. And then and then I remember, um, you know, Bushes and the Clintons didn't like each other. And then I saw an event where they're all hanging out, hooping it up with each other. And I'm like, that's when it struck me. I went, oh, my God, this is all professional wrestling. This is all you're going to be the bad guy for four years. And then we're gonna implement this while they're while they're concentrating on whatever. Like, oh my god, that's great, that's great. And then you're gonna go over there, and then we're gonna. T- they all worked together. It's yep. it's it's Hulk Hogan, and uh, it's it's all of them. It's the Republicans. The Republicans. Yes. <laughs> when you know the details of like like how they work together, I mean, when you look at like a George Bush Senior, he was a Republican. He was right. the head of the CIA. His father right. helped. His father, Prescott Bush, funded the goddamn Nazis and got busted for it. So, so here we go. George Senior, his father was funding the Nazis. His father creates the CIA with the Nazis from Operation Paperclip. His son, George Bush Senior, is the CIA director. He eventually becomes vice president under Ronald Reagan and then becomes president. And he's the and then you find out he's the one, he's the fucking head, he's the cartel head of the drugs coming into the United States through Mena, Arkansas, while Bill Clinton, while he's governor, he's allowing all this coke to come in. And basically, he Bill Clinton's the governor of Arkansas. George Bush Sr. is the vice president and president. He's his boss. George Bush Sr. is his boss. George Bush Sr. is a Republican. Clinton is a Democrat. The, right, right after, and then when you watch those debates with Bill Clinton and George Bush Sr., they're having presidential debates. They're talking yep. about jobs, sending jobs overseas and cutting right. fucking taxes for the middle that's class. Right. Yeah, and, right. and meanwhile, they are drug dealing partners. Right. Republican just, and Democrat. So that's what made once I realized that, that's why I never voted. That I gave same. up on politics. Like, like you said, good cop, good cop, bad cop. Are both that's right. Good yeah. cop, bad cop, play everyone. Play, play everyone's yeah. being played. Everyone's go back, played. go back and watch, dude. Go go on YouTube and punch in George Bush Sr. and Bill Clinton having presidential debates. It is the biggest fucking uh bullshit theater you would have. It, it's it's the epitome of political bullshit. Like when people say, Oh, it's all bullshit, political you believe that is the that's the height right there. George Bush Sr., who is Bill Clinton's drug box, they're having a presidential fucking debate. In front of the world, and they're both crazy criminals, like uh, extreme murdering criminals, and they're talking about fucking NAFTA and shit like that. It's insane. Now, you know who, that's right. You, you know who the other Good side team. is, though. The real, but okay, they're not this side, that side. They're a united team, but who are they united against? Us. 
Us. So where the other team? People. We got to remember that. Where the other team? Like that's what this whole Q. So, yes. And this is where I was going to before. Love him or hate him. When Trump was out there and he he was the first one, and we've all said this, Jimmy, you, we, me, you used to talk about this on the radio all the time. What, what radio is fake, media, all media is fake. They are pushing agendas. He's the first one that came out and said, fake, you're fake, you're a liar, you're fake. No one had the ball. And That's what got me. He had me at fake news because I wasn't paying attention at all. Like I said, you know, since nobody was the Bushes were Republican and the Clintons were Democrats and they were both partners in crime. I never paid attention to. I thought all like, you know, when 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 like uh, John McCain would be one of the candidates. Right. Or right. Or Mitt Romney. I was right. like, those guys are all clowns. They're all on the same team. So I never paid attention to it. So when I hear right. uh, Trump is running for president, I never paid attention to Trump either. To me, right. me it was either. just like a billionaire, casino owner. All I knew about uh, 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 Donald was Trump was he'd go on Howard Stern with, with hot right. models. And, right. and he, he promoted Tyson's fight to the Trump talk. Well, I never paid attention to him. I thought it was all bullshit. So Joe's telling me, Joe Rogan's like, dude, Trump's fucking gaining steam. He might be president. He might even be president. And I was like, dude, I told you, you guys aren't paying attention. You're going to have some clown buffoon like Trump become president. No one's paying attention. So I was like talking shit on Trump. I was talking shit right. on Trump. I wasn't paying attention. I wasn't paying attention at all. And then he fucking won. And I go, I told you guys, what did I tell you? We're fucking doomed. We're doomed because yep. I wasn't paying attention. I just thought yep. Trump right. was just part part of the part of like the, the cabal. Yes. And then once he started saying, once he started saying CNN's fake news, I was like, wait a minute. Right. Wait a minute. And then my, right. My, my my whole my whole I have a giant Mexican family, and they were all like, fuck Trump. He hates Mexicans, fuck Trump. And I just believed it. Because when you don't pay attention to mainstream media, when you don't pay attention to it, they, it's easier to, to believe in it. Because all you hear is like what your friends are saying. And then you believe the mainstream narrative. Not don't say gay. Not because you watch. Yeah. Yeah. Not because you watch the mainstream media. It's because you don't watch. They would rather have you not watch them. It's easier right. to get you if you don't watch them. That's the craziest That's right. fucking thing. Because if you watch them, they're afraid that you might just fucking smell all the bullshit that they're saying. You know what I mean? So yeah. once he said, once he said fake news, and then I'm like, wait a minute, he's is it, what is he saying about Mexicans? I go, oh, dude, he's racist. I go, okay, let me see what he said. At that point, I'm like, okay, I got to do some investigative work here. Yeah, this one the fuck called CNN fake news. So I looked yep. into it, and that the shit he said that pissed Mexicans off in my whole family was that he was talking about like the criminals that are coming through the border. He's like, they're all criminals and all fucking, you know, we're going to send them back. Oh, they're all criminals. And then right. CNN goes, look what Trump said about Mexicans. And then they cut to him saying, they're all criminals and rapists and we're going to send them back. And then Mexicans lost their fucking mind. When in reality, they just edited. it. He wasn't talking about Mexicans. Can you, can you imagine if he really said Mexicans are all rapists and criminals? Dude, who, who would be... And right, you know what? Not even Biden would say that. Not even... The retarded Biden. <laughs> Nobody would say that, but they got everyone to believe that he actually said it. He, they yeah. got everybody to believe that Trump said Mexicans are rapists and criminals. Can you believe that? Shit? So once I figured yeah. that out, I'm like, oh my god, they're they're going after him. Oh shit, they're going after him. Let me look Same. into Trump. Then I started looking right. into Trump. Cards. Damn, maybe maybe he is legit. He could be a yeah. trick. It could be good cop, bad cop, and we're all fucked. But Correct. he's the only one where there's hope. You know what I mean? Dude, he's talking about I, America, I'm with you. make America great again. He's talking about First Amendment. He's talking about Second Amendment. He's saying fuck mask mandates. He's saying fuck vaccine mandates. Okay, I like yeah. that guy. I like that. I like yep. that guy. First you know time, I mean? like, first time in my life, I felt like I had a horse in the race. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, yeah like, having, oh my um, god, the sky is outside. Yes. Yes. Y first time you know ever. What? Let me tell you, Eddie, how powerful that mind control is. And I try telling people this. I'll say it on stage and everything. The power of lo love, love can blind you. Everyone knows love can blind you. Love is blind. So is hate. Hate 
is will blind you. And a perfect example is I was in Detroit about six, um, like two weeks ago doing shows. And after the show, I had some friends and we were all sitting at a table. They were watching Biden on the whatever thing. And they all started talking about like, this is really bad. Like what's going on and blah, blah, blah. And like, how do they, how do we not know that he's just, he can't even speak and blah, 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 blah. And, and she's like, well, he, he's better than what we had. And we all turned and I said, whoa, 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 don't, don't. I said, I just want to ask them, to, what exactly are you excited about? And this person, like every person that I know, when they're put with this question, tell me what's amazing with this cyborg guy in a mask, robot, whatever you want to call it. You yeah. want to call him Biden? We'll call him Biden. Okay. Does that make you feel better? Sure. You think it's okay. Right. What do you think is amazing? And on my life, the person would do this. What? Well, just I just couldn't vote for him because he was such a racist. And it, so I said, whoa, 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 whoa. I agree with you a thousand percent. I agree. I didn't like the way he called names, but that's that's behind you right now. I'm talking about right here in front of you right now. And every time she tried to think about it, she'd go, he, he didn't know, he, he didn't care about the environment. And so, whoa, 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 whoa. I agree with you. What do you like and what are you excited about with this thing? And they can't answer the question. Yeah. All they do is go in a derangement and they point to what's behind them. That is, that's a disease. That is, that is no different than someone with mental trauma that can't, that's holding on to a tree and you go, all you got to do is let go of the tree and your life will be free. They can't do it. That's how powerful that mind control is. That's how powerful it is. They're willing to just watch whatever as long as it's not. Ah, it's wild. It's wild. But I agree with you, man. It's, um, you, you saw a tree that was planted of of mass information for centuries whether it was the read all about it the little boy read all about it and you said something yeah, read all about it <laughs> <laughs> that's how far back that goes oh it you goes know back. You, know, I was, you know what i love you know what i love I, you look back what? at all the, the 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 quotes like those universal quotes like like read a book like dude read a book oh man like they can't read. lie in books like just read a book. They just read it. which book, motherfucker? That you isn't there a lot of bullshit books out there? Read a book. Oh, read man. a book. Read a book. Yeah, you don't want to be stupid, do you? Yeah, right. It's amazing. Get, anyway, get a, what about this one? Get an education. Get an education. <laughs> get an education. Right. right. Get an education. Get I tell people education. You got to get an education. You got to get an education. You got to get an education. Damn, no one questions that one, dog. Nobody no one that one. questions, Nobody questions it. that one. Get it. And they, slaughtered, and they slaughtered a whole generation over and over again. They keep recycling on how do we slaughter another generation and send them off to fight something. But anyway, I have to go. Uh, we okay. got, I got, Eddie, Eddie, we got, I got to have, we got to, I Hey, Jim, I think can you I, do, I can like have next, you on twenty four seven. What? Hey, how about you do my podcast next? We you let me know when. You let me know. Hell when. yeah, let's do it, dude. I can go on all night. You know me. I know. That's let's what I love it. I think me. I'm telling you, we could talk for hours. Hours. We got it. We got um, it. I was talking to Sam Tripley. We got to do like the fucking. We just got to go big and do a festival. With you, me, Sam Tripoli, fucking Chingo Bling. We get all the 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 red yes. filled comedians together. We yes. Go big. And we do something big and just say, fuck it, see what happens. Let's talk How about that because I know some people. I know like um that I th I think that's a brilliant idea and it's waiting to happen uh, more than it, everyone man. anticipates. I right, let's, let's let's talk about it. I'm gonna give you okay. my cell. We're gonna hang out, you're okay. gonna give my cell. Uh, Mike, give Eddie my cell, and I can't thank you enough for being here today, bro. Thanks for all hey, your time. Anytime, anytime. We'll do this uh, 10 times. I don't give a shit. I, Let's do it. That, 
Thanks, brother. Love you. Be Thank safe. You, man. Have safe a good journey. day. Thank you. Thank awesome. you, you too. Um, Jimmy, thanks for hanging out today. Yeah. Um, uh, Eddie is so. I, I, I love him. I don't, even, yeah, I don't even know what to. I, I don't even know how to. Eddie Bravo. I've been listening to him for the last two years and he's right on set. I, I don't say a lot of the things that he right. says. He just but I'm he says right it without. There. He just puts it out there. He just without, puts it out there. But, in his brain, out his mouth. That's great. <laughs> now, remember this, people. Um, at the end of the day, we don't need any, we don't mean any harm. This is just a bunker. It's just a goof. Take it how you like it. Mm -hmm. You, you want to believe it? You want to take his entertainment? You want to take his whatever? But at the end of the day, I truly pray for all of you, all of humanity, to find the goodness in life, the good souls in life, because it is under massive attack. And it's been under attack for many years. It's been a slow process, but now it's a full-blown war. Whether you want to face it or not, you have to face it. It's real. And they're coming after you. They're coming after your kids. They started drugging your kids with ADHD. They started drugging your kids as soon as they come out of the womb. Whether you want to believe that or not. Um, this is a slow growth. Find the goodness in your life. Find the good soul. Spread that goodness. And I hope you had a good day, and we'll see you next week. Jimbo, thanks for hanging out. All right, brother. Love you. Love you, too. So, listen, I got pretty rowdy today. But these are subjects that are very serious. They're very serious. And take them seriously. And don't underestimate the power of love, the power of goodness, the power of bonding with people that are willing to do that. If, if, if the enemy keeps coming after you, all I can say is stay clear. Understand they're coming from a place that maybe you haven't, they, they, they haven't grown yet spiritually, mentally. But what's going on is very real. I don't know how to uh, let you know enough, but do yourself a favor. Start small. Someone elderly in your family, call them. They might feel lonely. Tell them you love them. There's someone hurting in your family you don't even know. You haven't talked to someone in a while. Call them. Just say, hey, man, I was thinking. When you think of someone, call them. I just went through this whole thing again where I've been thinking of my friend Dan for the last three days. And I, and I kept saying, call Dan, kill Dan. And I let the madness go. The, the, the madness just completely blind me. And sure enough, I got a call today. Something happened to him. I pray he'll be all right. But I truly feel that magnetic force, that energy, whatever. I was thinking of him because something was going on. I don't know that for a fact, but I believe it more than then you may believe it. I have uh, a lot to talk about. So hopefully next year, uh, next week, we'll talk a little bit more about, uh, I, I would like to do a segment. I have to refresh myself after today. So what I want next week, we'll do Funny How God Works. And I'll tell you some stories that hopefully will help you, heal you, and they're relatable. And these are stories of my life that have happened and I'll tell you that God's honest truth. And I got nothing to gain except for you growing in, in goodness in life. So today was fun. We did the bunker. I know a lot of you like the bunker. Take it for what it's worth. Mikey, hey, thanks, brother. Hey, uh, real quick. Um, maybe we're going to save uh, Funny How God Works for the following week. Because next yes. week we have uh, J.P. Sears. Oh, oh phenomenal we'll yeah do that yeah then. two more weeks i love jp sears yeah man next week jp sears awesome look forward to it thanks for that save by the way mike no problem dude all right man you guys be good have a great weekend talk to you soon thanks for hanging out with the universe
This is Jim Brewer, and I got my own Patreon page, and hopefully you'll check it out. Live comedy concert streamed once a month. Weekly, you host your own podcast, and you interview me. Early access to the Bruniverse podcast every single week, and have bonus footage and bonus segments, and you get to access my last comedy special, Somebody Had to Say It. There's a lot there. I promise you I'm not going to let you down. Go check out my official Jim Brewer Patreon page, and I'll see you there.